Are you ready for us to be aboard tomorrow? I think it's 7.52 p.m. on Saturday, July 24th, 2021. Time for recipe number one of the night from the Mr. Food Test Kitchen. This is for pork with apples and bacon. Serves four. It cooks up in six hours and ten minutes. Calling all bacon lovers, this recipe is for you. You'll be slow cooking up a storm when you make our pork with apples and bacon tonight. This hot and hearty dish has the right amount of sweetness with a touch of saltiness that we know you're going to love. Of course. So, with that being said, here's what you need. Four slices of bacon, a three-pound pork butt or pork shoulder, whichever you want. Whatever is on sale at the supermarket. That'll work, too. Of course, I'm talking about pork butt or pork shoulder. They, they'll work just fine. Two sweet onions, sliced. So, I'm thinking, like, Vidalia onions, probably. Yeah. Two apples, cored and cut into chunks. They can be Gray Smith, Gala, Golden Delicious, any apple you choose. A tablespoon of dark brown sugar, not light brown sugar. A teaspoon of salt, half teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper, half a cup of chicken broth, and a quarter cup of apple cider vinegar. Yeah, gives it that same apple taste along with the apples too. So in a large scale or medium heat, cook the bacon until it's crisp and then remove and drain on Paper towels, reserving one tablespoon of drippings in your skillet. Crumble the bacon and set aside. Add pork to the hot drippings and cook about seven minutes, turning occasionally until it's brown on all sides. Meanwhile, coat a five-quart slow cooker with cooking spray. Combine the crumbled bacon, onions, apples, brown sugar, salt, and pepper in the slow cooker. And when they're all combined, you place the pork right on top of the mixture, then pour on the chicken broth and the apple cider vinegar right over the pork. Cover and cook on low for six to eight hours or just until the pork is tender. And it's fall apart tender, I mean. Boy, and our cr also the cranberry pork roast is another great recipe for the slow cooker. So, if you're looking for your recipe for best use of the bacon that you still have in your fridge and the apples that are in season or soon to be in season then I think this recipe would be the perfect time to try it out pork with apples and bacon for your slow cooker six hours long but you will be rewarded with the taste and this one is available on mrfood.com along with all the other recipes I've talked about so that's pork with apples and bacon I got another recipe coming up so stay tuned for that one and don't go away